Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, May the 5th for fifth grade. This is going to cover our homework from our lesson that we were working on on Monday. And just as a reminder, I will be giving all of the homework problems uh, to be able to help people that are finding the video uh, that are not students at Risen Christ. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we're looking for two different things. So we have two angles, excuse me, we have two um, sides that are matching, which means we are going to have an isosceles triangle. And then we are going to say whether or not we have an acute triangle where we have all three angles under 90 degrees, um, an obtuse triangle, which is the one that we have right now um, because we have an angle that's larger than 90 degrees or a right triangle where we would have a 90 degree. Um, so looking at our number three, we are going to have an isosceles triangle again because both of these sides are matching and we are going to have a acute triangle. I was trying to think what the exact measurement of those were. Um, so I could do 180 minus 22 and that would give me 168. Uh, so both of these should be, I believe it's 84 degrees. Um, and then for our uh, third one here, um, we would have a scaling triangle because none of these side lengths are matching and it would be a right triangle. Uh, number five, so we don't need the picture to help us. Um, we can just compare numbers. So this one is going to be a scaling triangle that has obtuse um, angle here. Uh, for our other one, it will again be a scaling triangle. And then we are going to have an acute triangle because all three of these angle measures are under 90 degrees. Uh, let's see. Number seven, Mary says the pen for her horse is an acute right triangle. Is that possible? Well, to be an acute um, triangle, we have to have all three measures for our angles under 90 degrees. Um, so if I have a right angle, I have a right triangle. Now, if I have a 90 degree angle, my other two angles are acute, but that does not mean that this term here would be correct. So no, um, and it would just be a right triangle. Uh, let's see, Karen says every equilateral triangle is acute. Is this true? It has to be um, because one of the things that changes the angles is the length of the sides. So if we have three sides of the same length, regardless of how long they are, they are all going to be in the same proportion to each other, which means we are going to have the same angle, which should be 60 degrees for each. So yes. Uh, number nine, draw three triangles. Um, I will just kind of briefly uh, do this down below real quick. So if I wanted one that was equilateral, I'm going to try to make it as close as possible. Um, if I was going to make an isosceles triangle, I'm going to try to make two of the sides match. And then the third one be different. So I don't know if I'm going to be successful with that, but the goal is this one is supposed to be longer and then both of these are supposed to match. Um, I also probably could have done it a little bit easier making this the shortest side. And then for a scaling triangle, we could make all three a different length. So hopefully you can tell that if we start here that this is not going to extend all the way out the same length as our bottom one. So uh, the normal right triangle that we're looking at um, would be um, typically a scaling triangle. So we would have uh, the problem that we would be working on where we do a squared uh, plus b squared equals c squared to figure out what the length of the hypotenuse is, uh, which would be this particular um, line. So uh, number one on the back, um, two of the triangle measure uh, angles measure 42 and 48. That means if I add these together, I am going to get 
uh, 90 degrees, which means I have 90 degrees to go to finish my 180 degrees. And so my third and final angle has to be 90 degrees. And so that would give us a right triangle. Number two, um, if we are doing a classification, um, we would look at whether or not we have any matching sides. Um, we do not appear to have any matching sides. We don't have a right triangle, so that eliminates both of these. And so scalene would be the only one that would work for that. Um, this would give us an obtuse triangle. Um, how many tons are equal to 40,000 pounds? I can do this divided by 2,000, and that should give us 20. Uh, number four, choose the symbol. Um, so a kilometer is worth uh, 1,000 meters. Centimeters are even smaller than that. Uh, so this is hilariously bigger than the other side. Number five, we have a pentagon. And this would be a pentagon if they want the extra part that is not regular. So I'm going to put NR for that now. For number six, we have a pentagon. And this one is a regular. So pentagon. And this would be regular because we have five matching um, angles and we have five matching side lengths. Whereas here, um, we have uh, different angles on the inside and we have two different matching pairs and then this one appears to be by itself. So hopefully that helps explain everything. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. I know for those of you that are finding the video from outside of our school, um, you're not going to have any resource for that. Uh, what I would recommend if you have any questions, please ask your teacher, um, send them an email or a message and, and ask for any additional help on things that you need. So I uh, hope the video has helped. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out to me if you're a Risen Christ student. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in our next video, which will be a new lesson that will also come out this morning. So have a great day.